Cześć, siema. Jak leci? Um, are they here? I mean, that's... You know that, right? Um, are they here on quite cloudy and gloomy Sunday morning? It's warm though, so... Um, almost really warm for middle of October. It's middle of October already. <laughs> um, I had a dive through my Russian chest which is thankfully slowly dwindling by now, the, 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 the um, stash in it. Trying to find something that will be interesting, um, that won't take too much focus to go through, but also something that won't um, leave too much leftovers. Um, just because, you know, um, you do know how I finished the rations for my lunches over the week later. And uh, I didn't want too much, too many left leftovers for this week, so um, yeah. I mean, there were other choices, but what I finally landed on is this um, quite mysterious to me Ukrainian Russian. Topovi polno i nabir productive. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I just. Um, I recognize the letters because I had to, to I had to take two semesters of Russian during uni, so I know how to read the letters. Um, but I learned them reading them the words Russian way, so um, I don't speak a lick of Ukrainian. Uh, so um, we'll be going through the names, kind of. Um, logic puzzle style, taking the letters and applying them to whatever sounds most similar in Polish or Russian. Um, but uh, why, I say, why I'm saying it's a mysterious Russian to me? Because the name says it's daily set of items, um, assuming food items obviously. Um, but for a daily pack it's quite small. You can see how, how small that is. Um, and that printing up top tells you it's about 1800 calories total, this pack. Um, the Ukrainian Russian I had in the past, like a three meal um, daily Russian, had it clearly divided into three parts breakfast, lunch, breakfast, dinner, and supper. And the same is for all the um, Ukraine Russian I saw on YouTube. I'm not sure if I ever saw this one there. Um, I've not identified um, production date yet. Uh, there's 2016 here. Uh, which might be like a commission date or something. Um, if not for the fact that it tells you here it's um, a property and do not sell Nedla Prodagi, um, I would guess it's civilian Russian maybe, but again a bit confused. Um, so my best guess would be it's like um, Restricted calories, daily ration, maybe, or dry food pack that would be supplemented with something else. Um, yeah, but that contents clearly set out uh, what's inside, how they count it, how much of that you get. Okay, so let's 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 just get into the pack. And see what's inside because I am curious. Okay, um, so something happened here, something burst open because there's uh, liquid, I guess honey had um, an accident. Uh, I'd like to avoid getting my desk all sticky. But that would require me going and grabbing some um, paper towels, so 
I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure there will be some napkins in the pack as well, but just for now. Got spoon and this is why I can only focus here, oh, this is too much light. There's like little golden droplets on it, that's why I assume it's hundred dried. Um, okay, so, oh. first of conserve, okay, data, Zero. Okay, so our production date would be August 2017. Um, five years before, five five years ago. So I assume it's um, done. It's it's past best before, but should still be edible. Uh, what do we have here? Strave, Apitni, Drugi. Oh, okay. So it's like um, dinner menu number two. I think. Kartopia uh, tushko vanas ovocami tam yasam svini. Um, okay, so some sort of something with potato stew, maybe with vegetables and pork. Yasam svini. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. Um, next we got uh, another conservi miasni miaso tushko vanie svini. Um, so pork stewed pork, something like that. Um, Jelan kunka. Oh, I guess chewing gum. And then uh, cover of coffee. Sorry. Uh, then we got a pack of crackers. Galiette, ration galiette. Very similar to Russian ones, I think. Hopefully, they'll be a bit nice and fresher. Everything is in honey. Good. Um, okay, so we got some other kind of crackers as well. Sohare. Sohari armiski pšenični. So with crackers, biscuits. Um, data gotovljenja. Okay. So uh, sugar was packed in 2016. I'm comparing the words here. No, it's it's the same word. So these were made in 2017, 2016. So possibly like a 2016 contract packed on 2017. Um, more sticky sugar. Um, this is the honey that didn't make it. Mied naturalni. So real honey. And I guess it just got squaws somewhere um, and leaked properly. Um, you can see the napkin took all the honey. <laughs> um, and got some black tea. Nice. Um, so we got two drinks, one full meal. This is, I said, assume just stewed meat. Uh, it doesn't mention any veggies on it. And then we got some pastry items um several limited but for two meals maybe mm. yes i'm licking my fingers from the honey because it's sticky <laughs> um so given the weather and given that this is very clearly past best before um I wasn't really made aware of that from the seller. Bad one. 
much a bad one. Um, I'm going to put those two things into a pot of water um, to warm it up, to make it nicer and to, you know, hopefully wash off some of the honey <laughs> of it. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Just, just, so we need to pop that into a pot of water. That's done. Um, it will get nice and warm. Just a couple minutes in a hot water, maybe boiling water. Uh, I'm really curious. I mean, 1800 calories uh, obviously isn't. Um, if you look through most Russian worldwide, um, they range from about 12 to 1400 calories for. A single Russian to about three and a half, four thousand calories, with exceptions for the um, daily Russian, unless it's as I said, restricted calories for easy, easy, easy transportation. Really, really curious if that's what we're getting here. Um, let's see. I got my tray. There's not much stuff to put there right now. Uh, I'm going to try the drinks. Okay, so there's coffee. Sticky with honey. Cava naturalna rostina. Poroshko no Poroshko I know the letters, promise Poroshko podibna So, um Instant syllable coffee That's about what I get Um, yeah, it's Despite being Despite the wrapper being damaged by um, honey, coffee is still pretty dry inside, that's good. Ah, a bit cakey, but nothing too terrible. Um, and we'll have tea. Alokozai, premium tea. Poga servietka dla od na od narazo o yeah so so single use um thing inside <laughs> um squad demineralizowana oh okay nar parf Huh. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the ingredients on it and it's pretty darn amusing. Uh, okay, can we get a focus on this? Not too much glass, sorry. Um, 
because sclat is ingredients um, and that basically says the mineralized water and um, perfumed or flavored mix um, why water? okay Ooh. oh oh I am getting confusion. Oh, uh, I am so confused. Okay, this clearly says tea, right? Um, what you get inside is this sort of napkin. It does smell like tea, but am I supposed to brew the napkin? <laughs> Um, so much confusion. I mean, that would explain the water, because you know the napkin absorbed it before being dried. But okay, give me a moment. Um, Okay, something doesn't add up. Um, for example, the, the packaging says uh, we should get salt. No salt. Chewing gum, yeah. Paper napkin that gets us that. Um, servietka. But it also says we're getting chai here, which is tea. So much confusion. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Confusion is good. Confusion is how we learn, but. Why are we getting napkin in the in the tea packet? Okay, uh, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to drop that in the glass. Why not? I'm going to pour water over it. I'm pretty darn sure that's not how it's supposed to be used. It's meant to be some sort of napkin and just a mess up in packaging, but oh my. Um, it's a mess. Um, and the contents don't really fully line up with what's written on the outside. Um, so I wonder if that's how it was made or if the seller ripped me off and replaced stuff inside and just you know hit sealed bug bag galliette okay we got galliette suhari we got suhari um then we got two packs of food in my pot kava we should we are supposed to have two coffees hmm. got one chai which is tea two packets not sure what's happening here um Sukor, yeah, okay, two packs of sugar, we got that. Uh, mied, he, honey, bit dead, but we got that. Glumka, okay, so chewing gum, got that. Loshka, okay, so spoon, we got spoon. Um, there, there's two kinds of napkin, like just napkin and then the cleaning napkin. And then, that's a long word, bies.
tobie spolu mieni. Oh, we're supposed to get um famous Russian hitter. Um, so yeah, someone done fucked up and it wasn't me this time. Oh. Really, really curious what happened in here. Because that is all that was in the pack. That's a bad surprise. Um, let me grab water. a silly um clearly just a clean napkin wrapped in tea packaging what happened here i had no idea okay so we take that away because silly Um, okay, taking back the part about missing tea because the tea found itself. Um, it just got glued to the pouches, so there was a tea included. Um, unfortunately, it mostly leaked into my pot, so not quite drinkable right now. I think. Let's see if it can be salvaged in a minute. So, for one of the bread items, we got. Galliette, Ration. Ugh. So sticky, everything sticky. Darn honey. So we got four these hot tack kind of biscuits. Mm. At least they're crunchy. Get some chewing gum. Um, we got sohare, which is basically dried bread. Um, sometimes you can find sohare that have um, sugar added for a sort of snack thing. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a bread bread. Uh, it keeps well. I mean, better than fresh bread. And uh, as you can imagine, it's great for soaking in any sort of stew or stuff like that. Yes, it's a it's a clean napkin. I think I can just take it out and. Use it to clean my fingers now from all the stickiness. Um, I put the honey here just for show, but obviously, I'm not getting um, it. Probably would say be good, but I just don't feel like fighting with all the 
I'm sticking us of it right now. Here's our lost black tea, Kenya. Um, I could probably salvage the pack. Not sure if I will drink it, probably not. But just so we have some tea. Since it was included at all. Just got completely glued to the um to the mains. Okay, so two mains, um, yeah, or at least one main and one um, thing to accompany the bread. <sighs> Some sort of stew, I would guess um, potatoes being the first word, then there's definitely pork in it and some vegetables, uh, which also amuses me because in the word for that is ovatami. Um, and if you go for the most similar word in Polish, you would get fruit. So yeah, um, that's how I learned the word actually. It's not what it means. It's not. It doesn't mean what you think it means. Mm -hmm. it smells quite nice. I'm actually going to pour it all out, and then. Rehouse it into some sort of container for later, for after stream. So we got 350 gram pack of that. And then our other item that I guess could have been eaten cold is just some sort of stewed pork. Oh, 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 that's definitely pork. Steered in its own juices. Ah, this is definitely not my kind of food. Yasu Sfini, Silku, Honna. So we got um, pork, we got salt, Pierrot. Um, ground black pepper, whole black pepper, I guess, and uh, bay leaf. No GMO, <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, let me just grab my own utensils because I don't feel like um, using that sticky spoon. Oh, yeah, now I'm That stewed pork should have let it cold, I believe, because um, it does not smell good. It doesn't smell spoiled, but pork can, can sometimes have this very strong smell. At... Oh, that was this. Um, most of all, I can't imagine it on its own. Um, I'd probably mix it in with something. You know what? Let's start with this. As the least appealing part of this thing. Um, just so I can move on, okay? So, um, stewed, I guess, pork. Supposedly, it's supposed to be then cold, so if I fuck that up, it's on me. Ah, oh, I can't get you good. Close up, sorry. Um, hmm. Smells and looks worse in taste. 
It's a very flavorful, freakishly soft, um, tender when it comes to pork. Um, I can, can't remember last time I had pork that tender. Um, lots of fat. I guess it was supposed to be even cold, um, but that would be different by then. Um, it's definitely, if you look at like in micronutrients, you'd get mostly protein and fat in that. So definitely something that will feed you. Um, that will stick to your ribs, but Extra points for making this whole tender because that is ridiculous. Um, I had chicken ration that was drier than that, so this is in the, in that regard it's awesome. Um, other than that, um, I'll have to figure out how to change that into something more edible for myself. Um, okay, so we got crackers or galliette. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that the wrong way. I just remember. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Hmm. They're quite similar to Polish um suhare, to, to Polish um suhare biscuitske, yeah, with the pats crackers. A bit easier to 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 um bite into. It does hard on its ends. I try to focus on the taste, but There's something off with the flavour. Um, I'm I'm not sure if it's um from time, like you they went rancid, or if it's just probably um if you go into your grandma's closet that's um that's not been aired for quite some time. There is like off smell. And that's kind of how it smells. Um, yeah, I guess I wouldn't be finishing those. That'd be perfectly fine, but just not worth the risk there. Uh, okay, so we got some sort of stew. Big, this one big chunk of pork. Of pork and potatoes and vegetables. Um, I can see carrots. Um, onion, probably. I'm going to try and figure that out before eating. And that's not the pouch. This is the one. Um, okay, so it starts with pork meat, voda, okay, that's water. Um, then you got potatoes, then you got cipula, onion, okay. Um, okay. Got carrots, okay. Sunflower oil, I think. Tomato paste, yep. Salt. Yeah, um, vegetables mean onion and carrot, and then you know tomato paste and um. 
citric acid for flavor. Um, okay, I'm going to try just the veggies first. Um, and again, if you can see the oil spots on top, um, this is common for most Eastern European Russians uh, because animal fat is a cheaper way to just feed you. Um, probably not the best for your health, but I think that's not the point in those. Again, it's quite intensely spiced. Huh. Um, not sure if I like it. It's not bad though, so... Um, let me try a piece of pork. And it's just cut meat, it's not processed or anything. Um, yeah, compared to that, to, to, to this, this is a bit less tender, but still very soft. Um, not too dry, just big thing for pork in a ready meal. Um, hmm, let's try everything together. Um, it's quite a dense spice, it's something. It's like almost familiar to me, but not really this, just the balance of flavor is, is different. I remember the same um, from the previous Ukrainian national head a couple of years ago. Um, hmm. Imagine going to visit your family member at the other end of the country and they cook something you know, something you like um, but because they live at the other end of the country they learn the recipe differently um, they cook it differently, they spice it differently essentially the same thing, you know um, because if you look at the component in the, in the ingredients so the family of pork, I mean pork c c I mean pork is probably most eaten meat in Poland um, or chicken, but one of those two. Um, I know I had to make so tender. Big, big points for that, for the tenderness. Um, tomato, potatoes, carrots, onion, all the basic ingredients. And the flavor is almost familiar, but almost. There's a little shift in bands of flavors that makes it not, not what I know, not what I recognize. Um, it's definitely I could say it's a very sort of peasant food in that um, it's meant to feed you to keep you moving to get you back into action so all the um, proteins all the fat which is cheap way to you know get more calories in um, not to everyone taste, of course. Uh, hmm. But definitely a, a meal for you know cold weather. It's very um, hearty, you could say. Got so hard. Again, the bread. Mm. 
there is off flavor but I'm learning to, to just not go there a fresh as said it would be very nice um, you could easily take the whole pack crumble it into a pouch of this mix it one meal in, in, in a pouch and you got that and you got your um, galletti or crackers with honey for snack um, if I knew it was that old if the seller made me aware I'd probably go into a bit sooner wouldn't change much because it would be like in summer but still um, see you can uh, <coughs> you can dip that in Mm. <laughs> it is great together, but if only the bread was fresher. Oh, you can already see the fat congealing, starting to settle and congeal on the bottom of this. two words um, it's a very utilitarian ration no bells and whistles no fringes you get meat you get some veggies to me make the meat more like a full meal you got bread for your carbohydrates that's it um, I said that there's something weird happening with the packaging here especially since we're supposed to get um, I think if they list it on the packaging the flame ration heater shouldn't we get that inside not provided with and then that napkin in the tea packaging tea company tea tea um to making of my packaging that was confusing and it was dry um five years in um it was very dry so wouldn't work as a clean napkin anyway i'm going to give a sip to the, co to the tea because you know might as well at this point Uh, black tea isn't my favorite, but I'm trying to figure out why this one tastes a bit bland. I mean, maybe because you know some of it already escapes. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, sorry, the tea bag, but uh, it looks pretty brewed, but still. Uh, not much flavor in that in that particular brew. Okay, and I think we're still due to have some coffee today. No, oh, coffee is nice. <coughs> Black as night, sweet as sin. I really pity what happened here with honey. Can we figure out where that went? Kind of looks to me like. Hmm. Because the ends look still pretty much. Okay, here in the very middle of the seam burst. Um, I guess that's why in Polish Russian. The little um, containers of honey are put in bags as well. Uh, so if they leak, the leak doesn't destroy everything else. Um, there's still some honey inside, left inside, um, crystallized at this point, I assume. Trying to decide if I want to get inside it in some way, shape, or manner. Yeah, that 
out the tear here, the original tear. Okay, we're getting in there. Um, if you remember, honey has antibacterial properties, so um, technically it would probably still be good to eat. Very nice honey. Mm. And yes, my fingers are all sticky again. <laughs> um, let's see how they chewing gum looks and again if it's 24 hour ration just one sad piece of chewing gum doesn't seem like enough i think um go on, go on, go on, go where was the word and yeah just 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 one chewing gum and for a single meal um 1800 calories is a lot minty strong kind of meat um so i would guess it's maybe 12 hour ration i did try to look it up before but um yeah my my google flu in this regard is not too well yet mm. okay the chewing gum is nice um and definitely much appreciated after the oily oily maize Um, yeah, this was, it's just a curious one, that mix of surprise and, and familiar, sorry, do not chew and talk, um, a mix of surprise and familiar, um, Tastes almost better than I imagined it would. Um, and yeah, so the level of <laughs> oiliness uh, was what I, was what I was expecting from this Russian, uh, but still doesn't mean <laughs> it's my kind of food. Um, this is definitely very utilitarian Russian, uh, for the purpose of keeping soldiers fed and able to perform um, the way people understand how people need to be you know fed um, Americans they do all sorts of research go into nitty-gritty details of exact ratios of stuff this is just your mother's food eat and do your thing I'm kind of glad I got to try it uh, but yeah, that's that's definitely my last, um, my last time with uh, Ukrainian Russian. But with Ukrainian food, I might still be dead at chance. Um, yeah, some sort of restaurant, but this is just, uh, like the obviously there's different levels of um, enjoyment of food from Russians, and but when you compare this. Um, Hmm. These are the Canadian French ones, and some Polish ones. Um, this is just uh, not quite there yet. But again, please remember, um, this is 2016, 2017. Uh, in five or six years, um, this might have been completely revamped. I mean, this already got pouches, uh, which is a move on from earlier cans so obviously there is still some res research and development going on um yep. and an improvement in making this better um and if this is the sort of food that tastes familiar um this will always take priority over uh most well-balanced 
most intuitive flavored meal uh, because this is the food that will get eaten easily and this is the food that will provide at least a modicum of uh, mental comfort which in the grand scheme of things may not mean much but it's still that little bit of comfort uh, that if we can provide the guys and girls fighting um, it's appreciated it's always that that one little thing that keeps them going might keep them going um, okay enough of my bubble as if I know what I'm talking about um, this was a look into 2017 let's go by the dates from the uh, mains 2017 Ukrainian daily dry Russian um, Not exactly what advertised. Uh, curious food too. But again, uh, we. It's a fun way of, for me, fun way of exploring um, food from other countries. Also extending my own palate. Because um, obviously, if I have choices, I choose the main that appeals to me the most but um, sometimes it's still trying something new something I wouldn't try otherwise so yeah practice practice makes better okay in our bubble um, thanks for joining me today um, I hope you enjoy this <laughs> utter mess and bubble and just uh, this utter disaster that today happened today um, I also have more fun uh, having company doing that so if you watched and um, chat is open if you want to join in just jump in and, and um, talk with me um, I'll see you next week not sure you what we'll do yet uh, maybe we'll finally do that French fashion you voted for um, or maybe we'll do the comparison of two American Russians same menu um, just packed some 10 years apart I believe let me just check actually because I have a note here for that uh, whoa more even um, same menu packed 17 years apart so cheese sotellini in tomato sauce from 2004 and 2021 that might be our plan for next week. No promises, as again, uh, as usual. Um, it will depend on what day, <laughs> what kind of day it will be. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next week around the same time, 9.30, maybe closer to 10 a.m. Um, Central European time. Still summertime. I think we'll uh, change clocks in two weeks. Can't wait to get more sleep. <laughs> okay, um, wrapping up. Uh, and to quote my favorite streamer, be well, be safe, be healthy. Yeah, at the out. Bye. <laughs>